Hi, this is Xavier from Navy Recognition reporting from DSA 2014 in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I am on the boosted stand with Murad Anwar, the program director for the LCS program for the Royal Malaysian Navy, the future corvettes. Mr. Anwar, thank you very much Hello, for welcoming us. Good to see you again. So what can you tell us about the current status of the program? Okay, the, the program has been progressing rather well. Uh, we have uh, almost finalized the contract. In terms of the uh, progress uh, of design, we are now in the basic design phase two. We are putting all the functional design uh, to the main ship design. And uh, as far as the procurements are concerned, we have uh, uh, placed the orders for almost all the major equipment, except uh, now we are working on the secondary or peripheral equipments and um, uh, quite a number of them have uh, even crossed to the critical design review while many we are at the stage between preliminary design review and critical design review we hope to finish the basic design <coughs> before end of the year and moving on to the detailed design and the production will probably start in about first quarter of 2015 so uh, this program uh, we have uh, as our uh, primary uh, uh, advisor, I would say, is uh, DCNS in acting in capacity as the ship, whole warship design uh, authority, as well as the combat system design authority. They are advising us in that, while uh, at the same time we are doing a lot of transfer technology program with our young engineers uh, to be able to complete the program on our own and then uh, hopefully to acquire the know-how to move forward from this program and uh, also uh, we have uh, obtained the uh, expert view from the CNS in terms of the shipyard uh, upgrading uh, starting from uh, the surface analysis to verify that we do have the uh, in-house capabilities and infrastructure to undertake such a uh, complex program. And uh, we are now building those infrastructure. Okay, this is, uh, uh, I would say, a full flash frigate with the four-dimensional capabilities in warfare. And uh, the ship will uh, be, I think, uh, in my opinion, be a major deterrent force for the Malaysian uh, defense as a whole and also it will be uh, comparable with uh, the warships in the region. Uh, it will have uh, certain unique capabilities and as you could see the uh, features of the design it is very much uh, with uh, very low uh, stealth or detectability uh, features which is uh, probably uh, quite uh, in the uh, top range of the warships around the region.